Hello everybody, Jake, your resident content cowboy here, yeehaw, and here are things you need to know about Sableye before it drops later tonight. Before even hopping into our game, one thing to notice is that Sableye is an attack-based supporter, the only attack-based supporter in Pokemon Unite, meaning items like attack weight, float stone, and lots of other attack-based items are going to be great for this Pokemon. The second most important thing to know about Sableye is you are invisible. A lot of the time, until you're near an enemy, as you can see like this, if I spend a little too much time there, I become visible again. Or interestingly enough, if you stand near an enemy goal, you become visible here. So you can score while you're invisible, but you actually lose your invisibility near a goal. This is something that Sableye did not have early on. You were actually able to score a goal invisible and it didn't really matter. Right now, you can become invisible and as soon as you start scoring, you're going to pop out of that invisibility here. So no longer can you score invisible. That kind of makes sense, right? The third thing you need to know is leaving combat, you will become invisible again, but another way to become invisible is with its move, Shadow Sneak. And when you hit an enemy from being invisible with Shadow Sneak, you're gonna deal additional damage. The next thing you need to know is it looks like Confuse Ray got a little bit of a buff since the last time it was on the public test server, especially Confuse Ray Plus. Originally, it looked like this move was not going to be very good, but you actually might get some value out of it now, now that it got some sort of buff. It looks like they stay confused slightly longer and the plus means they're attacking a little more quickly. Also, using Shadow Sneak Plus, when you become invisible, you can see your health starts to tick up rapidly. So now you don't need to use leftovers anymore because I know we were all using leftovers a lot. Here's something really interesting. If you hit an enemy while you are stealth, you fear them and they walk away from you for a moment. So when you're in stealth, you automatically get a boosted attack. And then when you run to an enemy, you will hit them and you will give them a little tick of fear and they will move away from you, whichever direction you hit them in. So you could set this up to get an enemy to run into your team. Of course, we have to talk about the Unite move. One of the wildest Unite moves in the game. If you hit an enemy and it is looking at you, they immediately start recalling and heading back to base. That includes a substitute doll for whatever reason. Apparently they have a base and and they're going to head back to it. It is a wild Unite move. And if you happen to hit an enemy and then somebody hits them, they don't go back to base, but they do get stunned. Let me show you that right here. Hit them, and then instead of them going back, you attack them, they still get a nice little stun. So even if your allies end up hitting them, it's not the end of the world because you stun them really well. But if you hit them not from the front, you don't get any of these benefits. Yes, you do damage, but they do not end up heading back to base or anything like that. Just some damage is done to the enemy. Oh, and they get a minor speed reduction. So I guess it's not nothing, but it's not what you want out of this move. Another really interesting thing about Sableye is they are a stacking Pokemon's nightmare. With your early move Thief, you can hit an enemy and take AO Synergy off them, up to five at a time. So as you saw, Slowbro had 11 right there, and then I hit it with Thief, I took five, I could take another five. Basically, if a Pokemon is coming up to stack against you and you just hit them with Thief, you're going to take it all from them. You also could take it from them and then stack yourself if they only have a couple AO Synergy. You could hit them on goal and then stack in their face. It's just so mean. The upgrade to that move is knockoff, where you actually knock the Aos energy off them and it lands on the ground around them. They can't pick it up for a short time, so you're just able to kind of knock Aos energy off them. Nothing they can do with it. You can pick it up or an ally can. Also, Knockoff Plus is really cool. If you hit the enemy and they drop their Aos Energy, you pick it up and you heal yourself and get a move speed increase. So it can be really cool for engaging in some of these fights. It's gonna be really interesting to see what all of this does together. I really love the play style of this Pokemon. Sableye also has a little bit of a backstab in its early move, Astonish. If you hit them from behind, you deal more damage, which is really cool. All right, the next big thing you need to know about is Faint Attack. Faint Attack throws fake Aos Energy on the ground. You can have up to five pieces of it around at any given moment and enemies will pick it up and they will end up taking damage over time. This is very cool. They take damage over time and they're slowed. But the big thing with this also is this is going to give you vision around the map. So I think that's one of the biggest things about this Pokemon is you're going to be able to set up opportunities to see what the enemy is doing. With Fane Attack, you can throw this in bushes. You can throw it near 
enemy goals. You can just set up so many different plays with this. I can imagine plays where you throw some faint uh, attack energy on the enemy goal and they pick that up and maybe take some DOT. I can imagine where you throw some right here and let's say a stacking Pokemon comes by so that they can pick that up. There's just so much you can do with faint attack. I cannot freaking wait to see this move in action in a real match. Let me know what you're most excited about with this Pokemon in the comments and I will see you live tonight when it drops. All right, I love you. Mm -hmm. Oh, can't wait.